Nightingales is a it's a project that's been going on with me for a, four years now. Um, out of the sort of dis, I guess the discovery that uh, when you make music with nightingales close by to them, uh, unbelievably they reply back, and you can enter into this exceptional musical dialogue with them. And in fact, there's a, an incredible legacy of uh, humans making music with nightingales. Obviously, 1924 with Beatrice Harrison in England and the first ever live radio broadcast, but also across the world uh, in the Northern Hemisphere, stories such as Afghanistan with uh, the rhubarb players luring the nightingales off the trees to land on their tuning pegs and, um, and to play, sing and play along with these master musicians. So there is this kind of deep vein of... Um, of collabor collaboration between this very human singer in so many ways, how the birds have uh, steeped themselves and, uh, and sort of absorbed into our musical cultural uh, DNA, I guess, from thousands of years of, of living in such cl close proximity to man and singing all through these amazingly fertile uh, weeks of the opening of spring. Nightingales have a repertoire of, of around 150 to 250 different song note uh, phrases and sounds and they use them in a very improvisatory way where they're um, they'll sing a, a phrase and then often a, there'll be a leap motif that they'll come back to several times you'll hear them rotating through but they'll be throwing in different combinations of song and they'll sing like a breath as it were and then there'll be a stop and there'll be silence and then they'll sing again so there's a real on off quality to it for me it's you know singing with nightingales is about introducing an, an extraordinary bird with his incredible song but also about exposing you guys to a time of night and a, a way of being in nature and a, being in the wild in a way that is so kind of uh, it's so unacceptable these days and it's about giving us all permission to step into the night and into the darkness and experience what the land is like after dark under these stars um, and and give people that sense of uh, possibility to go and really engage deeper into to, to nature in a very fertile time of time of night and so to get to the nightingale, we are going to walk through the dark without any lights, no artificial light at all, just using our own innate night vision. And we're going to do it in single file. Um, and when we arrive in the area where the nightingales are singing, you're going to hear them 
we're just going to get as close as we possibly can and just quietly gather and sit down and, and let the concert begin. Thank you, Mr. Nightingale. 